Danaudi was founded in the late 70s and it all started here in Skanderborg. So when Danaudi started, it was all in one building and we expanded over the years. We have now 300 employees, we have several buildings and a completely new R&D center, which will be opened end of this year. So Danaudi's approach to loudspeakers is that the heart of a loudspeaker is the drive unit. So even today, we do everything here in the house, the tweeters, the roofers, the cabinets, from the entry-level model right to the flagship speaker. We basically begin with the engine or the motor of, of the drive unit, which is the magnet system. We design the T-yoke, we design the pole plate and uh, the size of the magnet. We source it and we assemble it and we magnetize it. So when we have the motor system, we design the voice coil. We are using aluminum wire, which is light and kind of brittle, so it requires expertise to handle this wire. The benefit of using aluminum wire is the reduced weight. We can add more windings and hence we get higher force in the driver. By creating every part in-house, we are not limited to what a supplier can deliver. For example, we can change the size of the voice coil, the number of winding, we can change the shape of the cone, everything we can change to just improve the sound quality right at the drive unit. In the beginning, we couldn't just order coils with aluminum wire. We had to do it ourselves. We took on that test and, and we succeeded in building our own winding machines and being able to control and handling the aluminum wire in our voice coils. The basket is as open as possible, but still strong enough to have a, a fairly large and heavy magnet system supported. We want as less turbulence uh, beneath the diaphragm as possible. So when you look at the Dynaudio basket, you'll see a lot of ventilation, a lot of openings. We use MSP, magnesium silicate polymer, which is our own blend. So we get dampening and stiffness in the diaphragm and the dust cap. And we form it in-house as a one piece so we don't have to struggle with gluing and a dust cap to, to the cone afterwards. The benefit of creating loudspeakers in-house is that you really have a deeper understanding of a woofer, of a tweeter. So everything about frequency response, phase response, transient response, you can actually control and master, not by the DSP, not by the crossover, but in the drive unit. When you have completed the driver, it's very important not to only look at the on-axis characteristics, you also want the off-axis because that's gonna give you information about the room and the recording and the loudspeaker itself. So it's very important that you take really good care of your off-axis characteristics. It's very important to align your voice coil in your air gap. By using a damper or a spider, we control the position of the voice coil in the air gap. And the symmetry that you get from the spider and your surround has to be improved. And you can do that by simulation and by measuring. If you look at a Dynaudio cone, it's, it's not as deep as competitors' cones because we care for the dispersion, we care for the off-axis characteristics as well. We are using soft domes. The shape geometry is also designed by us and the code is even designed by us, which means that we are applying the right amount of code uh, at the right places to get the stiffness that we want. The benefit of using soft domes is uh, you get a more flat and linear response compared to metal domes where you have ringing phenomena. We can control the roll off by changing the coat, uh, the amount of coat and the density of the coat. So we have some levels to control the frequency response. The coating process was in the beginning taken care of by a pencil and a female uh, steady hand. Now we have automated uh, the coating process. So we have a lot of automation and machines here, but that wouldn't work without the people. The people have to judge the quality. The people know how to create quality, and that only works together. So the people who create the tweeters, they also control the tweeters, and there's a full quality circle. We also have testing stations for our woofers and the tweeters. And this is not just the machine is doing that. That's a person doing that, and the person has been manufacturing and creating tweeters and woofers for many years. So they know what to look for in a drive unit. They know how to judge quality. Another principle at Danaudi is to always go back at the beginning. If we have a cone material that's not right, we change the cone material and not try to change it afterwards in the crossover. If we have something in the voice coil we can improve on the voice coil, we do so. We don't cure it with a crossover later. As a driver designer handing over my, uh, my babies to system integration, it's, it's so important to have perfect control of every aspect of your driver. So the benefit for the listener is a more authentic music experience at home.